Good morning. It's Monday, the 22nd of May 2017. Welcome along to today's United Kingdom Talk, coming to you live from the United Kingdom Talk television and radio complex here in Royal Berkshire. Morning, boys and girls. I was up early this morning, quarter to eight, quarter to eight. So I'm sleeping okay now. I'm actually sleeping okay. Do you remember a, a, a couple of uh, days last week? It was actually when I came back off holiday. Uh, I, I kept waking up. Like, every hour I kept waking up. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, we've settled back into our normal route. Maybe I should just never go anywhere. Because it just upsets me, doesn't it? Have you noticed that? It just upsets me when I go. Maybe I should just stay here at all times and broadcast my shows 24 hours a day. I should get my own satellite sky transponder. That's what we need. This programme will continue to be available on Cody and all those other illegal little things that some of you have got at home, haven't you? Tat, 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 tat. I know you have. Yes, Cody and Amazon... What's that other, that stick thing that they put? And they load it with software and watch things illegally. Well, it is not illegal to watch this program. So, uh, uh, you know, bear in mind, boys and girls, this will make you feel much better. If, you, if you're one of those people with Kodi, K-O-D-I, or what's the other one? Amazon stick thing, stick, Amazon stick, and various other things that I keep seeing advertised on, on of all places, Facebook. You know, Facebook, where, where where they like to clean it all up a little bit. Uh, when, if you've got one of those, uh, believe me, they are coming down on you now. They're, they're starting to um, uh, stop all these services that you're not paying for. But, but, the sweet side of it is that you will continue to be able to watch this program completely free of charge. How lucky are you? How lucky are you? Exactly. I thought so. Let's say hello to some uh, early morning people this morning. I want to try to say hello to the early morning people quicker than I have been doing so, because I tend to rabbit for about 10 minutes and then I read. So I'll, I'll read the early, because at the end of the day, you've been kind enough to be there right at the beginning of the show, haven't you? Those of you who are with us at the moment. Not like some of the other, you know, the other stragglers who are still there right down the other end of the queue there. Oh, 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 has he started? Oh, 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 we we'll click on it in a minute. No, 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 we're not having any of that. As you are, as you are, Kind enough to be there right at the beginning of the program, almost after my breakfast. I'll tell you about my breakfast in a minute. Then I'll say hello to you now. First message of the morning goes to da, 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 Adam the plumber, who joins us somewhere in a little van while he's fixing pipes and toilets and things like that. Good morning, Adam. Hope you're well today, sir. Uh, hope you. Oh, by the way, hope you're still enjoying the music at the beginning of the show. Yes, my sister. Abs and she mentioned it again yesterday, actually, when she was on the phone. My sister's not very good at using the phone, unfortunately. You can usually it's it's somewhere around here, and she can't concentrate. My sister, who I love to bits, she cannot concentrate. So you're having a conversation, and then she start talking to someone else, and then she, she go, "Hello, yeah, did you hear what I said? Oh no, I was just talking to." She cannot concentrate on the phone. Whereas I have very, very good... Con oh, I'm going to sneeze. We haven't done that for a while, have we? I've got very good concentration. You will notice, while I'm talking to you... <coughs> you will notice, while I'm talking to you, I am not distracted. Now, Wendy, who is also with us this morning... Good morning, Wendy. Wendy will tell you that that wasn't always the case. When I first started doing these live shows... Uh, which was on Periscope, actually, I was completely thrown by being distracted by reading the messages as they came in. What I do now is I do my chat. I'm chatting to you completely, you know, one to one. I'm doing my chat with you. And then a little bit later on, when I'm ready, I'll go to the messages so as not to distract we must not be distracted. I will allow you, however, to be distracted making a cup of tea while you're listening to the show. Well, you don't have to watch it all the time, do you? You know, I'm still toying with this idea of the whole upload radio thing. I want to do that, but it requires a little bit of preparation. I've got to do two 29-minute bits. Upload radio. Remember me talking about that the other day? Yes. So I, I have your full 
I, I am giving you my full concentration. You know, not half. Not, I'm not on in the back. I'm your. You are not in, on in the background. I'm giving you my full concentration. That's true. Uh, good morning to... There she is. There's good, Wendy. Good morning, Wendy. Uh, so, ah, what's going on here? Happy birthday, Adam. Oh, no, it's not his birthday today, Wendy. It's tomorrow. Although the celebrations are tonight. If you want to meet Adam the plumber and bring him some sort of small present, now you don't need to go mad. We don't want anyone spending more than £250 on a gift. OK, please do not do that. But Adam the plumber will be celebrating his birthday tonight at our big karaoke night at Central Station in Wharfdale Road, King's Cross. It starts festivities start at 8 p.m. Not 10 past 8, like some of these other karaoke people. You know, they advertised it for 8. Or it might start around about 10 past, half past 8 maybe, even 9 o'clock. No, 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. I'm very strict on that. I'm very strict with timings, actually, with, with myself. I get I got all that from when I used to work at British Telecom. Uh, I became an engineer, but at, at first I didn't have qualifications. So you just got into the company, you see. And I went in as an operator and they were so strict on time. Three minutes late was one of the worst things you could do. Three I know. Young people were, uh, three minutes and that all. Oh, have you seen some, what time some of these young people turn in for work? You know, well, get there about half eight for eight o'clock, that'll be all right. No, it won't. Eight o'clock is eight o'clock. And that's what time our karaoke starts tonight for Adam the Plumber's birthday celebrations tonight. At, tonight, that's Monday, the 22nd of May, 2017. At Central Station in Wharfdale Road, King's Cross. OK, oh, I haven't had my pills. What's the time? Oh, yes, that'd be all right. Half hour late is okay. All right, so that's tonight. Um, uh, good morning to Alan Russell, who also says happy birthday to Adam. You're not doing your homework, are you? It's tomorrow, dears. It's tomorrow. Celebrations. I do hope you're coming down, Ad Alan, tonight to wish Adam a happy birthday. He's such a nice chap. He really is. Um... Uh, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. The Alan says the introduction seems to be getting longer and longer. Now, what do you mean by the introduction? Do you mean the bits of music at the end? Because at the beginning, because they're always exactly the same. Five minutes It's exactly five minutes. Is that what you mean, lovey? With it, when it comes to introductions? I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Good morning to Alan Gamble. Well, hello, Alan. Haven't seen you for a while. Uh, Nathan Vaporboy Edwards is there smoking away on those vaping things. <sighs> so much smoke comes out of those things, doesn't it? Or is it just water vapour? I know that. But um, a, a friend of mine, a lovely chap actually, Paul Knight, who came last night to the karaoke. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But he smokes those vapour things. And I think it was a strawberry one he had once. That was when we were doing the karaoke down in Sydney. And it, honestly, it, when you first smell it, oh, oh, that's quite a nice smell. But it very quickly becomes overpowering. Have you noticed that? I mean, it's worse than cigarettes. The, <laughs> the smell coming off those vapour things is worse than cigarettes. He's had a, I think he had a strawberry one. And he had a vanilla one as well once. And, and the whole room stunk of this vapour stuff. What one do you smoke, uh, Nathan? What, 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 do you call it smoking? You don't call it, you vaping. What, what vape, what flavoured vape do you vape? Is that correct? <laughs> Is that the correct terminology? I'm not quite sure. Do let us know. Uh, good morning to Scott Bruton. Good morning. Scott is with us in the house. Scott was on X Factor. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da. And he was robbed. Robbed. I never forget seeing you on that stage, Scott. You brought a tear to my glass eye. You really did. It was dripping down. It was. I was leaking, Scott. I was leaking while I was watching you on that stage when they told you, get off. Oh, you should have won that. You should have won that. Scott Bruton is in the house. He does a radio show on Tame Thameside T Thames. No, Thameside Radio, which is a, a little station up north with two listeners, run by my very good friend. <laughs> one by three listeners when Scott's on. Run by my very good friend James Dean. One listener. <laughs> good morning, Scott. Nice to see you, sir. 
Uh, Dino's with us. Good morning to Tim Ryan. What, my cousin? Have you joined us as well this morning, Tim? Good morning. Yes, Christopher Woodhouse is there. Good morning, Chris. He's coming along to the karaoke tonight for Adam's Birthday Bash. Oh, yes. Morning to Helen Lippman. Ray Reynolds is with us this morning. Good morning, Ray. Ray doesn't always stay the whole time because Ray, I'm afraid, is distracted. Ray Reynolds is often distracted while this show is on by phone calls or people at the door. I mean, I, you know, if I was a good friend like you, Ray, I'd ignore that. I'd let the phone ring. I mean, who can it be? You know who it's going to be, didn't you? Good morning, Ray Reynolds. Oh, hello. Um, have you spent, uh, lost any money for your PPI? No, I haven't. Good morning, hello. Have you been hurt in a car crash? No, go away. Hello, do you need double glazing? No, but you will if I smash you in the mouth. Dear me, don't those calls go on and on. You should do like me. Only give out your mobile phone number on those forms. No one has my landline other than, actually Ray Reynolds has my landline. Uh, my sister has my landline. And my best mate has my landline. That's it. No one else has my landline. I never, ever put it on the call, on the, on the, uh, on the forms. And if you put your mobile, oh, gosh, we, do you know, we got a call. Co How can we have a call coming in when the lines have not been open? Uh, good morning uh, to good morning, Ross Pat. Am I hearing am I myself, hearing Ross? Myself? Please, Please know, to, know turn to turn your radio, radio off, when off when you're calling. When you're Thank, calling. You. Thank you. Hello? Hello? No, he's no. He's... <laughs> Is that you, Ross? Is that you? Ross? Ross? Hello? Hello? Not working, thank you. Are you are you speaking from a proper telephone system? Never ever give your landline number out on those forms that you have to fill in, any forms that you have to fill in, other than perhaps your doctor. Maybe yeah. your doctor. <laughs> Good morning, Ross. Good morning, Ross. Good mo Ross? Ross? That's not working That's not this morning, is it? Morning, is it? What's he doing? I can just hear myself, just... that's all. That's... Adam, could you just Adam, try the you... landline and we can see if it's him or you? Uh, sorry, if we, can see, we can see if it's him or the system. Uh, ooh, let me see. Buttons pushed correctly. No, that looks all right to me. I think it must be him. You know, having trouble, you're, we are, are you Skyping in or phoning in? Oh, actually, I could ring myself, couldn't I? Just a moment, shall I try ringing myself? No, I can't do that. How would I be able to talk to myself if I was ringing at the same time? Very strange. Anyway, so there we are. Um, let's have a look. Good morning to Heidi, who joins us this morning. Good morning, Heidi. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think everyone's talking to each other. Does no one's talking to me? Good morning to the lovely Merlin. Good morning, Merlin, who says, I work with people who say that they have given up smoking, but in reality, they have just moved on to vaping, which is just as vile. I think you're absolutely right. It stinks. That vaping stuff absolutely stinks. Morning, Adam. Morning, Chris. Ah, oh, well, it's him then. You're working fine, okay. aren't you? That's working fine, that is. Good, good. How are you? I'm very fine, Adam. Are you looking forward to your birthday celebrations this morning? I am indeed looking forward to my birthday celebrations at Central Station, King's Cross. Very much so. And as you say, no presents over £250. No, because I, I, quite frankly, I'd be embarrassed receiving a present over £250, unless, of course, it was from my mate Ron. In which case, you know, the more he spends, the poorer he becomes, because of my pleasure, the better. I have got my eye, though, on this little Mitsubishi Shogun that's up for sale. No idea how much it is, but I rather fancy it. It's uh, a nice black Mitsubishi Shogun with blacked out windows. Is that, is that, a, new, is that a new one or a second hand? Uh, 2004 place. Uh, you so, see, you're not greedy, are you? It's not like you're asking for something new. No, I'm, if I can save money, I will. Well, uh, I, the, the, the only presence I would like tonight is people's presence. People's presence. Now, and now you have specifically requested, and I'm go just going to check in with you here, because yep. usually I would just do this without asking, mm -hmm. you see. But you, yep. you mentioned, without me even saying anything, that you didn't want a cake. Are you still on that or what? A little, a little serious moment here, boys and girls, because I, I don't know what to do now, you see. OK, well, let's put it like this. If, if, if a cake appears, I will be more than happy 
to indulge in a slice of, of it um, because I think it's nice for other people to share that celebration with me. As it's your birthday. As, Sorry, it's, as it's your birthday, will you not be counting Slimmer's World sins this morning? No, I'm. 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 <clears throat> when you have your birthday week at Slimming World, they do allow for a little bit of limitation damage. Okay. Well, good. Good. Okay. That's so, fine. As long as long as it does not have nuts and fish in it, I can indulge indulge in a slice. Nuts hole. What if it? What if it's got one of those warnings on it that says this this is not made with nuts, but it may contain nuts. As it's made they're norm- in an area... They're normally OK. They're normally OK. I'm not too fussed. It's when the ingredient actually says this product may contain peanuts, walnuts or hazelnuts. Peanuts! Actually- Golden wonder, they're jungle fresh. Golden wonder, they're jungle fresh. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I was getting carried away by the golden wonder peanuts advert, which I'm sure you remember, Adam the Plumber. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> Is it um, that old? You talking about you talking about cold callers? I love cold callers when they ring me. Are you naughty to them? I, I I love them. I really love them. I had one phone up the other day. Hello, Mister Tubro. I believe you've been involved in a car accident. Oh yes, you're right. I was. Um, how how are you going to help me? And they went through it all and they said, Now, can you tell us the details of the accident? I said, Yes, certainly. I said um, basically what it was. I'd been out on the um, on the beer all weekend, and I, I, I was feeling a little bit uneasy on, on Monday uh, when I was driving to work. And unfortunately, I had a bit of an upset tummy, and that was the accident I had. And I had to change my underwear. With that, the phone line went dead. <laughs> oh, you should have gone into full detail. I, I would did, have gone into detail. I did, but this is a, I did, but this is a family show, so I can't repeat <laughs> what I said. I just gave you the clean version. I, That's I rem- one... That's one. Uh, the other one that I like to do is, hello, Mr. Tubro, um, we're, we're selling such and such. Oh, yes, blah, blah, blah. I said, I really can't talk at the moment because at the moment I'm doing the neighbour's wife. So could you call back a bit later? <laughs> That's the other one. And my best one that I ever, ever did, this was several years ago. I used to live in Charlotte Despard Avenue, which you probably know. In I, I lived there. Yeah, I lived in Young's Court on the, on the eighth floor. So, I get this phone call. Hello, Mr. Tubro. This is such and such from conservatories and glass and windows. Oh, hello there. We'd like to see if you're interested. And they went through all their spill of everything they did. I said, I'll have a conservatory. Could you come round and measure up, please? Yes, of course we can, sir. What's your address? Certainly. Number 57, Charlotte Despard Avenue, Young's Court, 8th floor. Sorry, sir. <laughs> yes, the 8th floor. <laughs> but, sir, we're a conservatory company. Yes, can't you put it on stilts? <laughs> Phone line went dead. <laughs> uh, I've, I've had, I've had, pe- oh. I've, I have. Um, before I changed my number, my home number, because I got these calls all the time. I, if it was a bloke who rang up, I'd start mm-hmm. asking him how old he was and where he lived, and then I'd start <laughs> telling him exactly what I'd want him to do to me. I did uh-huh. honestly. They, that phone used to go dead. They never called back after that, dear. Disappointingly, mm. I have to say. Now, listen. I must ask yep. you. I must ask you. So, if if by some strange thing a cake arrives tonight, yes, and there's a little bit too many nuts in there, and you yep. accidentally eat a piece, what do we do, darling? What do we do? Have you got one of those pens that I have to stab into you, darling? <laughs> Stab the pen into your heart, darling, to save your life, lovey. What do I do? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have an EpiPen. I've never had oh. one because I've been lucky so far, touch wood. But don't worry, Chris, the life insurance is in your name. Oh, well, that's good news, darling, because I could, do, I could do with a few more properties, to be honest. Do, oh, I, do we have to, do I have to, you know, if, if, if I see so, if you start going like that, you know, mm-hmm. I could get perhaps uh, my good, very good friend Maureen, if I get you to lay on the floor on your back, she can hold your mouth open while I push my hand into your throat and drag out the piece of cake that you've just eaten and perhaps throw it to the birds. And get, uh, so you want to, you, you're saying you want to reach into my mouth Grab the bit of cake with the nuts in it and pull it out of my mouth. Yes. Good. 
That sounds a good plan to me. Now, maybe somebody could buy me an epi- maybe somebody could buy me an EpiPen for my an birthday. EpiPen for your birthday. Oh, the only thing is your teeth because they're a bit loose, aren't they? Yeah, they do come out. Yeah, they come out. They're like the stars. They come out of the night. Now, do I remove the teeth before I put my hand in your mouth? Or will they sort of come out automatically when I withdraw my hand, hopefully with the piece of cake in it? Yes, I, 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 would, I would remove them first, give you a bit more room to get in there. Mind you, I've got a pretty big mouth, so... You yes, I, your hand in I'd notice that. Um, what song are you going to sing for us tonight at your birthday celebrations? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in debate about that. Um, I'm, I'm having a, a debate. I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet. I think we might go for some of the classics like... Uh, Daydream Believer and um, excellent High choice. Ho Silver Lining. Excellent choice. Ex- two excellent choices there, if you don't mind me saying so. No, yeah. we're not having. We don't want any sad songs tonight. No sad songs. No, ab- uh, apart from All by Myself, which Chris is. Gonna oh sing. God, I haven't practiced. I've, I'm, you wanted me to do that, didn't you? When I was well, young, we, and we, I... let, we, we, we may let you off because you have repented and said you are going to Slimwell now. Ah, ah. Yes, uh, which I can't do tomorrow because I'm out most of the day tomorrow, unfortunately. No, I don't we're, think they... we'll allow you a week. We'll allow you a week. Break. Thank you. But I've started this morning. I've yeah. started this morning. Now let me tell you. Um, yep. Uh, I was I was up early this morning, as I say, run about a quarter to. I was I actually woke up at up past seven. I went, went about a quarter to eight. Now this normally happens on a Monday because on the Sunday, as you well know, I get up at twenty past seven to go to church. Yep. Uh, and Vivian, well, oh, Vi- Vivian's got a cold at the moment. The lady who sits next to me, poor Vivian. I wanted to give mm-hmm. her a cuddle. She's very straight laced, Vivian. We love Viv. I love sitting next to Vivian. Oh, and then I'm, I'm going off. I'm going off subject again here, aren't I? Uh, two people who sit behind me, Dave and someone else. Can't remember his wife's name now, but they're a lovely couple. Mm-hmm. As it was going out, this bloke from the choir was was going out. Old bloke with a walking stick. He's probably about um, about 70, 72 years old. Uh, but I, I said to him, because the singing yesterday in church was very good. Now, the choir are upstairs at the back, if you see what I mean, you know? So, yeah. uh, like, on a, like on a balcony. Like, I mm-hmm. quite like a balcony fitted to my yep. window here. Could, I could have a balcony fitted here, couldn't I? On my three bedroom house, just think I could do the show and be able to keep an eye on everyone. Wouldn't that's that be true. an excellent? I think that's an excellent idea. Anyway, uh, so as I'm coming out, I said to this bloke, I saw the singing was very good today. And Dave, wanting to wind the bloke up, says, "Oh, you you mean as opposed to usually it's not very good?" I said, "No, I didn't say that, did I?" And they're all laughing. Anyway, he said, "Oh, thank you very much." I said, "Have you got someone else up there or some new people?" I said, "Because you were doing lots of harmonising tonight." Now, harmonising for those of you uninitiated is when someone is singing the main tune, da da da. And someone is harmonising, da da da, like that at the same time. And That's he said it. thank you. And then, and then, and th- I have to, I have to tell you this. And then I, um, uh, the lady, uh, his wife, said, "Oh, you want him up there as well? He's got a very good voice." Pointing at me. How fabulous <laughs> is that? But this has happened before. You see, I don't want to sing in the choir really, because then you're kind of, you, you're. A, I like to sit right at the front. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and and you, you sit up there at the back and you're away from it. Also, you're not concentrating as much. You, you kind of get involved in other things and what have you. So, so that was it. I had to tell you that. Now, where was we going with that, Adam? Please, please take me back to where I was. Uh... <laughs> all by myself? Was it all by myself. That was something to do with myself, all by yeah. myself. You've asked me to sing that, so I will give that a little go tonight. I think I'll have a go this afternoon uh, when I finish the show this morning, and then uh, and then we'll give that a little go. Yes. yes. Oh yes, that's it. That's it. Slimmer's world. Slimmer's world. Slimmer's yeah. World. Slimmer's so world. Uh, yeah. up so early you this morning. started that this morning. Yes. Uh, by when... reading your book, have you? What? Do what? But you started by reading your book, have you? That I gave you. I haven't started reading the book still yet. That's because I haven't come to the end of my novel yet. You know, oh, the novel about the yep. bloke with a brain tumour that I told you about? That's the one, yes. I haven't now, finished here's that. A, here's a bit of advice for you, Chris. When you yes. start your Slimming World journey, um, throw your bathroom scales away. Oh, really? Yep. Only weigh in at Slimming World. Because if you do it on your own scales at home, and they're not because the Slimming World ones are balanced and um, 
Calibrated. Calibrated. Oh, I like that word. For two points. For two points. Spell it. Come on. Spell it. No, I no, it's, just a minute, just a minute. It's not calibration, come on. That's celebration. Call on the gang. I know. Badly done I by Kylie changed. Minogue as well. I, I just changed the words. And you, you asked me to spell it. It's IT. <laughs> very, very funny. Anyway, I went to Waitrose <laughs> and got the breakfast that you suggested. And yes. this morning, I did it. For my breakfast... Oh, first of all, first thing I did this morning, I got my yep. half a loaf... Of wholemeal mm -hmm. bread, opened yep. the back door and gave it to the birds, the whole loaf. The whole uh -huh. thing. The bread has gone. This morning, bread. I have had two oh. scrambled eggs with yep. just eggs, nothing added. No milk, nothing else in there. Two scrambled, right. you know, mixed up and scrambled. Very uh, good. Completely free, yep. Yes. Onions chopped up yep. and mm -hmm. mushrooms chopped up. No oil yep. under the grill. So under the grill dry, okay. basically. Yep. And three quarters of a tin of baked beans. Perfect. That's it. So you, you, you have had a completely sin-free breakfast. I am sin-free. How merry, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Sorry? In, indeed. So, yes, you have had a completely sin-free breakfast. And I will probably guarantee... But that will keep you going until at least one o'clock. Oh, I'm sure it will. I don't feel hungry in the slightest now. Usually at this no. point, I'm looking out for a chocolate biscuit or two, dear. Yeah. So if you feel the urge to graze during the day, because that's what we like to call it, grazing. Grazing, Ooh. dear. Ooh. If, you, uh, <laughs> if you decide to graze during the day, grab a piece of fruit. And if oh, you've got a sweet tooth, grab something sweet. I've got bananas. Look, I've got bananas. Looking, go on. I've got bananas. Yep, you've got your bananas. Um, if you look in the book, there's a couple of little recipes as well for like some little muffin cakes and uh, some little bits oh. and pieces that you can graze on during the day. Something there's all else. little recipes in that book. That something, else you well. something else you told me to buy. Do you remember? Yep. Yesterday you told me. It's a uh, fry light. No. Uh, uh, try again. Uh, la, 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 la. No, Five, go on. Can't four, remember. Three, quite a few two. One. Ah, ah. Your last chance. Try again. Get ready to steal it. The Wo the Reardon family. Well, Reardon family of one. But there we go. Yes, go on. Five. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Milk, soy milk. Ah, no. Ah. no, Muller Light Strawberry Yogurt. Oh, that's the one, yep. I have purchased four of those. Only two pounds for four. Mm -hmm. From Waitrose. What about, no, it wasn't. That was from the co-op yesterday. I went to the co-op. My yeah. local, my little, we got a little local co-op down there. And you said they're sin-free as well. Is that correct? I believe, yes, they are. They're very low on sin. I can't quite remember on the Muller Light ones, but I'm sure they are. I'll have to double-check in my book, but ah. yes. So there we are. I bought those. So the, uh, there's, anyway, no, there's check, no ice. Check your, check your book, and if you get a minute, go down to Iceland and have a look what they've got on offer down there. Iceland? Iceland, yes. I know, oh, it's, a, I know it's a venture into a new... A new direction and a new area, you're unsure. Iceland. We don't have one here. We haven't got one. Well, you haven't got an Iceland. No, there's no Iceland in Bracknell, dear. Well, there must be one in, um, one down the road, is there, in the next town? Uh, that'd be Camberley. No Iceland in Camberley. There's not one in Reading. You'll have to, you'll have to ask your Slimming World uh, when you go there, because they'll tell you where, where the nearest stop is. Right. I don't think there is one around here anywhere, actually. Don't want to have to go into London just to do my shopping, do I? No, no. Well, if you do venture into Iceland, just remember, I know it's a, a, an unfamiliar store to you. Very. Tie a, bit of, tie a bit of string onto the front doorknob. Yes. And then go in, and then if you get lost going round, you can follow the string back to the front door. Do, do they have a customer service desk? Uh, I believe so, yes. I believe they have some sort of customer service there. They've got very helpful, friendly staff, and... Uh, very good prices on it, other <coughs> other other foods are available in there as well as Slimming World. It, well, in Waitrose, they have a customer service desk. There's three people on there. Now, let me think. There's Linda, there's Jackie, mm. and uh, Michelle sometimes is on. I haven't seen Michelle for a while. I don't think she's very well. I must inquire about Michelle. Mm. So, talking mm. of Linda's, yes. uh, I, must, I must correct you on a dra dramatical error that you made the other day. Oh, uh, uh, continue. 
Uh, yes, you, you referred to your very good friend, Linda Evans. Oh, did now, I really? Oh, no, Evans? that's incorrect. That's that's the one on Dynasty. It's Linda Gray. Correct, is it, it is Linda Gray, yes. That's and you because... were referring to her as Linda Evans. I know why I said that now, because I was I had Dynasty in my head. They, they're remaking Dynasty now. Um, oh, right. uh, but it's not been picked up by any of the uh, TV... All right, TV television stations here at all not even the satellite ones not as yet anyway i, I would guess channel five mm. might pick it up although yeah. dallas was a bit of a failure unfortunately uh they didn't get many viewers did they <clears throat> but then did channel five get many viewers anyway no well i i quite i love that my favorite program on channel yep. five is that wonderful comedy series can't pay well take it away i, oh, yes, I love I it love dear it. I love, I love it. I absolutely, absolutely adore that program. Oh, isn't it fab? And they're all liars. Oh, oh, why am I being kicked out of my house today? I haven't had any letters through the post. Yes, you have, you lying old thing. They're liars. I, I love it. I mean, I can tell you, I used to do a similar job. Not the same. I didn't used to remove furniture. Were you a I used to be bailiff? I used to be known as what was known as a process bailiff clerk. A process Bailey Clark. That sounds very important, Adam. It does, it does. I had very important things. And basically what I would do is, let's say uh, Mr and Mrs Smith were beating each other up. Yes. I would go around there and serve notice to Mr Smith that he had to keep away from Mr Smith. And if he didn't, he would go to prison. Yes. And it, there would be noise disputes as well and things like that. And I always remember, I always remember this one, one case. It was in Brighton. And this dentist had done several thousand pounds worth of damage to this uh, this gentleman's teeth. Oh. So I had to trace and search him. Now, he couldn't have been traced for nearly six years. So I got onto the case and I managed to trace him by his British Dental Association number because it changed his name, it changed his practice, but you can't change your British Dental Association number. Right. That always stays the same throughout. So anyway, I, I traced him down to Brighton. And I remember it, I, I had a motorbike at the time, and I drove down on my motorbike at 30 miles an hour all the way, because I only had a little 50cc motorbike, got all the way down to Brighton, and found the dentist, and it was uh, a, a Friday afternoon, and I phoned him up, and I went, Mr. Smith, he went, yes. I said, I'm, I'm in Brighton, and I've broken, I've broken my new teeth, and I'm in real agony, so you have to go to a and &E? I said, look, I'm really rich, I've re got loads of money, I said, I don't care what it costs me, I said, I'll pay you in cash, no questions asked, it costs a thousand pounds, it costs a thousand men. He said, Come round straight away. <laughs> so I've gone round there, I've got in the chair, he said, Now what's the problem? I said, The problem is, Mr. Smith, my name's Adam Tubra, I'm a process bailiff part of the High Court of Justice of England and Wales. You're hereby served that on the eighteenth of December two thousand and two you did do damage to Mr Smith's Mr Smith's teeth. And here is he said, I've been waiting for this for for eight years. <laughs> I thought about the chair and walked off. But that, that's all true. You are very rich and you could pay a thousand pounds for a new set of teeth. My question yeah. to you is, Adam, why don't you then, lovey? <laughs> well, I wish, I wish I, I've actually got to get a new set of teeth because these ones are useless. Oh, uh, I keep hearing an advert on the telly, uh, on the uh, LBC. Um, yep. for, s s uh, do you remember the name of the people? Something, it's, it's something and something. Like, I think they do those screw in teeth. Oh, right, yeah. Maybe, maybe you can get them cheaper if you just order the parts. I'm very happy and very happy to have a go. You know what my DIY skills are like, lovey? Just drill a little hole in the bone and screw that tooth in, my love. That's it. Maybe maybe I could ask for that tonight from, from, from the... Teeth. Of the, uh, the new party. teeth, one, yes. One tooth each. Oh, hang on a minute. Hasn't Ray Reynolds got new teeth? You could have his old ones. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's a there's a good idea. Give him a little wash under the tap. There, be all right. Yeah, if if, if Ray's coming along tonight, can we bring him along with him, please? <laughs> and I'll try and try them out for five. Now, if I can just get back to what I had for breakfast, dear. Or did I You're tell you that there. already? I've told you already, yeah. haven't I? Yeah, we've done we've done breakfast. Oh, we've done. It. There, okay. Done yep. So so I've done that this morning. Right. Good. Thank you, Adam, and I'll see you for your birthday celebrations tonight. Thank you, Mr. Chris Ridden, international DJ and superstar of the United Kingdom Talk Complex Studios in Royal Berkshire in the Mirable Studio 772.B.A. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>
He's, he's, he is almost as mad as I am. You know that, don't you? Yes. Uh, good morning to Duke. Good morning, Duke. Are you still bored? Duke, I, I don't know what job Duke is doing now, but he keeps putting up posts that he's bored all the time. I don't know why. You need to get another job. If you're bored at a job, you have to go, mate. You absolutely are. I've left jobs when I've been bored. Absolutely, you must. Uh, Nathan says, currently I have pink lemonade in the tank. Raspberry lemonade, but agree some flavours are very horrid. He's talking about his um, uh, vaping stuff. So I wonder what that smells like. You know, it's not... I mean, the, the smell is all right at first, but I find it a bit sickly after you've been stenching pubs out. And things. There's a few pubs now that they won't allow people to um, vape anymore. And actually, I think that's probably some of the people's own faults. You know, if you were if you were having a vaping that's like just a... Uh, I think there is flavour. Is there flavourless vaping? I'm sure there is. If you have the flavourless one, uh, the, or at least one that doesn't smell to everyone around you, you'd probably be still allowed to, to carry on smoking uh, smoking around that stuff. All right. Um, yeah, we've got a phone number. Uh, 020 3477 is my local London number if you want to call in this morning, OK? 020 3477 uh, I've also got a Skype name. Skype username is United Kingdom Talk. So the Skype name is United Kingdom Talk. And the phone number is 020 8144 uh, Good morning to Craig Hards. Good morning, Craig, who has his Bluetooth small earpiece. He's listening to me on something. I'm a little Bluetooth little thing gadget in his ear. Aren't you? Good morning, Craig. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, Alan says, how long have you been doing karaoke? I've been doing it for 30 years. Ooh. Um... I would say 20 years. I would maybe 25 years on and off, but doing a lot of karaoke, maybe 10 years. OK, as you well know, as regular people to this uh, show will know, over the last uh, couple of years, I've been trying to to move away from the DJing uh, to doing karaoke. I find it much more. I find DJing incredibly boring. Uh, now, nice people, nice people over the last few months, have been asking me to do little one-off events. Um, I think there was a couple of weddings, a couple of birthday parties, something else like that. Uh, but I'm afraid I have to turn you down. Uh, I, I'm not going to do it anymore. I, I'm just so bored doing it. And if you're bored doing a job, you can't give it your all. You know what I mean? I mean, you really can't. Uh, my last main DJing job I do on Thursdays, and I'm kind of okay with that one. That one's going to finish soon anyway, because they're going to be opening till three o'clock, and I can't be working till three o'clock. And, and besides, I'm just, it's not for me anymore, this DJing. I'm just bored of it. I've had a wonderful time DJing over the years, don't get me wrong. I just don't want to do it anymore. So as as people ask, nice people, and, and you know, they they sometimes they think it's something to do with money and they say, well, how much do you want? You know, you just tell us how much you want. And I just don't want to do it anymore. I'm bored to tears putting on song after song. I really am. And a lot of the skill with the DJing has gone as well when we moved over to computers. Probably the worst thing I did was move away from CDs onto a laptop. <clears throat> it became incredibly boring once I'd moved onto a laptop. You know, there's only so... What, 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 there's nothing to touch. You're just pushing buttons all the time. And um, I just can't do it anymore. I just don't want to do it anymore. Uh, so that's that's the DJing thing. All right. Uh, Ross says, how unprofessional. Let me know when you want me to call. Well, you, you just did. And your phone didn't work, Ross. Your phone didn't work, I'm afraid. Uh, Alan started off with the big laser discs. I didn't use the big laser discs. I, I started oh, with the karaoke. I started on uh, those uh, CDGs. Uh, and I would hire them. I didn't have anything myself. I would hire these CDGs, you see. And that's how I started. Then I started buying discs and uh, transferred them all onto the hard drive over the years as well. 0208 344 now if you want to call in, OK? Uh, Chris Woodhouse says, pass the cake. Oh, Chris will have a bit of cake. Now, watch, if you're still with us, Adam, watch out for Chris with the cake, darling. OK? He will scoff the bloody lot. It will all be gone as soon as you turn your back round. So be very careful with that. Um, Alan says, my dad put his false teeth on the side of his chest of drawers one night when he went to bed. And hearing aid, he woke up the next morning and the dog ate them. <laughs> the thing... <laughs> I 
Dogs eat everything, especially when they're puppies, don't they? They absolutely eat everything. Be very careful. My um, my niece's dog was was one of those. Uh, she, he used to, well, she, I'll never forget. Once she was um, taking him out for a walk. And um, she noticed there was something hanging out of his bum. And it was a sock. <laughs> Where he'd clearly eaten a sock. And the, and the thing had gone through him. They, they chewed um, shoes. Rem he destroyed a remote control. Monty the dog, that was my niece's dog. Lovely thing he was. Anyway, lovely thing he was. Uh, good morning to Louise and Karen, who missed the beginning. You're not packing in, are you? Um, <clears throat> what's the time? Soon, yes. Soon, Louise and Karen, because I've got to go and have my pills. I'm a bit late for my pills now by about half an hour. If I don't have them within 15 minutes now, I will die. I will probably peg out on the... Oh, that's that. look at the viewing figures shoot up then as soon as I've said that. I, I will probably peg out. So, Louise and Karen, my darlings, no, I shall be going very soon. Good morning to the lovely Ian Ellis. Morning, sir. Ian runs pubs uh, and does a damn good job with them. So, morning, Ian. Hope your dog is all right. He loves his dog, don't you? We're talking about dogs here, Ian, and what they eat when they're puppies. Well, basically everything. Whatever you put down on the ground or whatever is found, it will eat everything. Ross, do you want to try and call in now? Um, we'll see if it works now. Your phone wasn't working a little while ago. I was just hearing myself back. And I know it was you because um, uh, Adam called in and it was fine with Adam. Edward Ross, good morning, Miss Ross. Morning, Miss Ross. Hi, Chris. How did we meet and where? Miss Ross, how did we meet and where? Do you know, I don't know. I don't know where we met and how. I, the uh, the honest answer to that question is I don't know where we met and how. Good morning, Ross. Is that working now for you? Good morning. Ah, oh, that's working now. What was wrong before then? I don't know. It's your equipment, not mine. It's, it's not my mind, equipment there. because someone else rung in and it was perfectly all right. Were you Skyping in or something? No, no. I tried the normal phone and then I tried the um, the Skype. But uh, don't, never mind. Don't worry about it. Well, what normal phone was that? Was it a landline? <clears throat> Are you calling from a landline? No, a mobile, thank you. Oh, mobile telecommunications equipment. Well, good morning, Rospy. How was your show last night? You were doing back-to-back -back music or something, weren't you? No, no, I didn't do that. No, no, no. I, I, I just did my normal, my well, normal little music and chat show last night because I, I thought about doing that, and I just thought, oh no, like you just said, it's just boring sitting there playing song after song. I'm glad. Do, that, can't they? do you know what? I'll be honest with you. When I saw your message. And I thought, why are you doing that? Because heart, mm. th this is the problem with radio now. The, the, the people that run radio don't want really presenters to say anything at all. They just want to play back-to-back -back music. You do something very unique. You know, you but chat. How do you know? You never listen. No, that's true. <clears throat> <laughs> I haven't got time to listen to you. I you very busy, so you do. Very, uh, trouble, I would listen, but I'm very busy rehearsing the next show, you see. I don't just turn up in the studio and talk, chatting randomly, dear. This is all rehearsed. I've rehearsed this show four times today. I've got, I got up at three this morning. I've rehearsed it. I've gone through this show four times with pretend callers. I, pretend, I called myself. And so it's all perfect for when you see it, you see? Thank you. That doesn't sound like it to me. Anyway, did you listen to Tommy Boyd the other night on, on uh, Talk no, Radio? I was at work. I bet he was good, wasn't he? Brilliant. Absolutely did, brilliant. Did I get a mention at all because I worked with him? You know, did I get a... Did he mention that... Um, no, nothing. No, no, he didn't, men he didn't mention you. But that was... Because he hasn't been on for, He hasn't been on the radio since 2009. As you know, it's just... He disappeared into oblivion. He was covering... There was all rumours last week that he was going to be covering Ian Lee's show on Friday night because Ian Lee was going to a Beach Boys concert. And there was all rumours. Some people saying he's going to be on. Other people saying that he weren't. There was nothing on the schedule or anything about it until Friday afternoon. And suddenly his name appeared on Friday afternoon on the schedule. And, and yeah, and he was on. And that was just as if he's never disappeared. He was on top form... You know what he's like, the stories he told just reeled off. That was just brilliant. I mean, so listen again, you can listen to it again. Excellent. Oh, that's excellent. Um, Ian is, is I, I, I'm feeling a bit for Ian. Now, you know I didn't used to like his stuff. I really didn't. Um, but I, I've listened to his shows a few times now, and I've kind of warmed to him. And it's, he seems to be... Uh, the the way he's talking, like he seems to be struggling a bit for listeners. Um, I don't think it's him. I think it's just because it's a new radio station, don't you? 
Yeah, no, he's 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 has grown up a little bit. He's he's going through a really bad bit of depression at the minute as well. Oh, is he? Oh, and he's right. yeah, he's on like loads of medication, and he's not. Oh. Yeah, I don't think he's going through a very good time at home. But yeah, he's yeah, no, I think I think the listeners are all right. But um, it... no, he's yeah, he's changed and he's growing up a little bit. I think, and he's he's realising that the silly phone calls aren't going to fill up three hours every night. Well, I thought it was good, he's, but 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 a couple of times now he's he's kind of mentioned that it's a you know like uh, his show is like struggling for listeners like the rest of the station. I don't know if that's, I mean, I don't know what the numbers are at all. No, I don't think they're they're not they're not like super duper, but there is uh, there is a, a still a new station. I think you should go on there. I I seriously, I know you do your own thing. I would think I think you would be brilliant on there. No, I don't think so. I don't. You, I, I, you know, you know, I've got no confidence to push myself forward like that. Anyway, I, I think go going back to that little story there. I think it's just because it's a new station. That's all it is. I don't think a lot of people know it's there. And you know, the other thing, I think they've made a mistake because a lot of people, when you say talk radio, they say, "Oh yeah, we listen to that." And then, then, then you say, well, what do you listen to? Oh, well, they always do the football. We listen to the football. No, wrong station. Football. And I think they've made a bit of a mistake using the... I know it was called Talk Radio before, but I think they've made a mistake using that name. Um, Talk UK. Talk UK. I don't know. I mean, the trouble is I kind of got that, that name there as well, haven't I, really? Um, I don't know what you'd call it. But being being as the name so close to the other name, I don't think people realise it is another station. I think that's a bit of a branding issue. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Anyway, um, also, um, if Adam, you know, Adam said he's been losing some of his teeth. Adam the plumber, yes. Adam the plumber. Well, Sophie lost two the other night, so if he wants some, he can buy some for five pound each if he wants. That's very, very generous of you. Um, is that including postage and packaging? Yeah, they, they, now, I don't know if they'll fit, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, Sophie, how old is she now? Uh, she's three. <laughs> 33 years old? No, three. Oh, three years old, I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, can you have a daughter <laughs> that's older than you? Unless it's something exactly. having to do with a chemistry set, is it? No, yeah, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> so she's three years old. Now, the only thing is, I, I think he needs more than two. So if he can have those two, is there any chance you could remove another couple if required? Yeah, well, I'll have a word of Emily because she sometimes has some, some fallout as well. So I might be able to get a couple of each. Yeah, well, that's excellent. Excellent news. We'll have those teeth. You can come and personally glue them into his head. Yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm going out. In the, I'm going out in the van a little while. Did anything dropping off? Uh, from Tesco's? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, then, fair enough. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'll, I'll say good evening to you then. Well, thanks very much for calling into the show. It's been an absolute pleasure for you. Yeah. <laughs> he always sounds so fed up at the end of the call. Have you noticed? <laughs> Why does he always sound so fed up at the end of the call? I don't get that. <laughs> very, very strange and mysterious. That's what it is. Now, how are we doing on time? I think we'll have to go now because I must go and have my pills. Um, yes. What's the time now? Yeah. I better go and have my pills in a minute. All right. Let's just do it. we got some birthdays to do today? I, do you know, I didn't do yesterday's. How many have we got today? Oh, it's quite a lot today, isn't there? Uh, Let's do let's do today's and yesterday's birthdays then. Uh, happy birthday today to my very good friend and karaoke singer extraordinaire, Vincent Faioli. Vincent Faioli, happy birthday to you, sir. 55 years old today. I didn't know you was a little bit older than me, only by uh, about six months or so. Happy birthday, Vincent. All right, nice to see you on here, sir. Andrew Armstrong, 37 years old today. Used to work with him in the Long Island Iced Tea Shop, which is no longer there. Oh, we did have a laugh in there. Oh, my God, we had a laugh in there. Happy birthday, Andrew. Happy birthday to television personality, Julian Bennett. Greetings, Julian. Happy birthday. Oh, you've got one of those beards, Julian. I don't like those. Why has everyone got these grey beards? You've... It adds about 40 years to your love. Look how young and gorgeous I still look like. And I'm like 12... Uh, I'm 12 years older than you. 
Get rid of the beards, boys. Especially the grey ones, please. Stuart Tyler. Greetings, Stuart. 36 today. Now, you've got a bit stubble, haven't you? You haven't got a long beard like that. That's not too bad, Stuart. Happy birthday, Stuart. Adam. Adam Wollstoneholm. Happy birthday, Adam. CMP Radio. Look at the years have flown by. And I'm still here talking to myself. With no one listening, unfortunately. Dieter Stemmer. Happy birthday, Dieter. All right, happy birthday to you. Mitchie Moo, I love your name. Mitchie Moo, and I know that little face. Oh, bagels. That's all I'm saying, bagels. Happy birthday, Mitchie Moo. Uh, Sean C. Reed is 39 years old today. Happy birthday, Sean. Alan Jackson, 59 today. Happy birthday, Alan. James Keogh. Hello, sir. You still look young as well. 39 today. Nathan Matthews. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Ma uh, Nathan. Now, where do yesterday's birthdays? Because we weren't here yesterday. I was very, very busy yesterday, actually. Um, I had a problem with um, uh, printing out some stuff. I was going to tell you about it today. But uh, we'll leave that for another time. I had a terrible problem printing. And it, was, it wasn't the... Um, it wasn't the printer that was the problem. It seems to be a bit of software. It's the bit of software that I use to do word things. I use, um, oh, what's it called? Open Office, Apache Open Office, which has been working fine until the last Windows update. And I seem to be able to do everything with I, I could except print. It won't print. When even you you know, you bring up print preview and it, it shows you a picture of what's about to be printed. You click it. And you get a blank sheet of paper come out. I don't know why that is. I'm able to print other stuff out, like pictures, PDF, Word documents with Word. But the um, the Open Office thing is not sending the print over. I don't know why what's gone wrong with that. Anyway, yesterday's birthday. That's why I wasn't here yesterday. I, I spent, honestly, it was a beautiful day yesterday. The sun was out. It was beautiful. And I got stuck in here for like... Two and a half hours in the middle of the afternoon trying to sort it out. Most annoying. Happy birthday yesterday to John Moore, Mrs. Moore. Happy birthday, John Moore. 45, dear. Where have those... Where's that pretty little boy face that you used to have gone? Do you remember being over the forest under Mars? Do you remember that, John? Do you remember that, lovey? Under Mars it was. Oh, that was about two o'clock in the morning when we were over there, wasn't it, John? Happy birthday to you, sir. Happy birthday to Lee David King for yesterday. Paul Stewart yesterday. Joanne McGivney was 40 years old yesterday. Happy birthday. Uh, Ruby V, 72. Happy birthday, Ruby. Sherry Link. Are you on that? Uh, you're on... Is it, are you on Venture Radio, Sherry? I can't remember what station you're on, but 48 uh, yesterday. Happy birthday yesterday. Andy James Palmer was 44 yesterday. Um, Mike Lower was 45 yesterday. Don Roos. Don Roos, I haven't seen you for a while. Happy birthday for yesterday. Tom Lingard, young, 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 22 years old. Tom, I am 22, 40, 22 44, 67. I'm over twice your age, Tom. Unbelievable. Happy birthday for yesterday, Tom. Uh, Lynn Levitt was 57 yesterday. Jason Winter yesterday. And Gordon Haley yesterday as well. So lots. There's about 20 birthdays there. My God, I'm going to be busy cutting and pasting these birthday things on your walls this morning. So happy birthday to you all. Here comes the song. <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. All right. Happy birthday, boys and girls. Just some late messages coming in here. Uh, Ross says, Chris does open days of his studio complex twice a year for £30, including refreshments, and lets people be a guest too. You get frisks on the door to make sure nothing illegal is coming in. Tickets available soon. I like the sound of that, Ross. Visits to the, to the studio. <laughs> Gosh. Um, <laughs> Edward Ross says, Chris, do you have, or Edward, you haven't told me, but you haven't said where we met. Surely it was on a stage. Was it the Black Cap? Did I put you on stage at the Black Cap? Oh, it's a fly. Bye bye. Fly. Oh, there's a gnat in here. Nasty things. They bite you, gnats do, don't they? And they feel with their little bodies fill up with blood while they're sucking away. <laughs> Are you good at sucking, Edward? 
Are you good at doing that, my love? Edward says, do you have or have had live guests on the show uh, sitting and chatting with you? Think about it. Yes, sometimes I do something, but they tend to be friends. Um, I'm hoping, hoping at some point to do like a car karaoke, you know, like, like James Corden does in the States. I'm hoping to do like a car karaoke type thing um, uh, with Nicky French um, at some point. I've I've slung the idea over to her and she seems up for that. Uh, I'm going to have to try it out. I'll probably try it out with my mate at, at first just to see that kind of everything works. I need to get something to hold the camera in the car and some other, some way to play. The, can I play the music on the raid? Oh, yes, I could, couldn't I? I could put it on a USB stick. Trouble is, I don't know the words to stuff. <laughs> Unless the words come up on the screen, I'm not I'm not freaking out. I can't learn words. Strange, that, isn't that, Miss Ross? Can't learn words. Yes. Uh, so, yes, sometimes I do have uh, guests in here. That's uh, uh, that's the answer to that one. Right. That's it for the show today, boys and girls. Uh, don't forget tonight. Tonight it's karaoke as usual, boys and girls. Karaoke tonight at Central Station. As an addition to tonight, it's Adam's birthday. So that's what we're celebrating tonight. Karaoke tonight at Central Station Bar in Wharfdale Road, Kings Cross. It's every Monday, 8 till 11.30, boys and girls. We're at 8 to 11.30 tonight, and it's cheap drinks as well. Enjoy your Monday. It's going to be very, very hot over the next few days. I am pleased to report summer has arrived here in the UK. We're all going on a summer holiday. I should do, perhaps do that one tonight as well. I'll give that a go as well tonight. See you soon. Thanks for watching and listening. Cheerio now.